Hello friends, welcome to a school server uh, tutorial. In this video, we will create a stored procedure which will accept input parameter. A procedure can accept parameter and the caller can pass those parameter. So the parameter can be input type or output type and in this video we will talk about the input parameters. So based on the passed in parameter a procedure can take necessary action. That means the passed in parameter will control how the procedure behaves or based on the passed in parameter the procedure output may vary. In this video, we will create a procedure which takes city and state and display number of authors from PUBS database. So, if you see here, the procedure will take two parameters, one is city and another one is state. So, based on city and state, it will display number of authors who belongs to the uh, specified city in the state. So it, it just displays a number of authors who belongs to the specified city and state. So here the procedure name is author count and if you see it takes two parameter one is city and other one is state. So here is the procedure body. So in the procedure body we declared a variable called author count and this will be our local variable so here we are setting this variable using the select statement select author count so that means here we are setting the variable count of author id from authors table where city equal to the input parameter we are just substituting that and state equal to at the rate state so this is one more input parameter right so the city here is the column name and what we are selecting is from authors table we are making an aggregate so the aggregate here is a count of author id where condition city equal to the input parameter and state equal to the other input parameter so whatever you pass that will be substituted here to form the where condition and based on the where condition number of author will be returned and the returned value is assigned to author count right then finally we are printing the uh, result total authors we are converting this author count because here author count is declared as a small int we are converting that and we are printing the result total authors for example if uh, total author returned here is a 3 we will say total authors 3 right so based on input parameter this will change for example if city is birth and state is say and state is say xy it will be substituted here and count is calculated and that get printed in the result now let's go to the demo here if you see we are selecting data from authors table who belongs to the city Auckland and state CA. So it shows us there are five authors who belongs to the city Auckland and state CA. So we can create a stored procedure and substitute this value by taking the uh, by taking these two as a parameter and based on that we will return number of authors.
here this is the aggregate we will use select count of author id from authors table where condition city and state so this is same as previous one but instead of returning the data here we are returning the count of authors and it will show count as four so the output of this query is a single value so our procedure will declare a internal variable and the internal variable will be loaded with this query's return value now we will write the stored procedure we will open a new new query window here if you see our procedure is taking two parameter and these two parameters are used in the where condition so what it returns is the count select count of select count of author id from authors where city equal to this and state equal to this the returned value is stored in the author count here we declared that and finally here we are printing it now we will execute this stored procedure and since it shows command completed successfully we will be having a new procedure now if you see the procedure here is author count and when you expand it you will see parameters there are two parameters here one is a city and another one is a state now we will go back to our previous query window and here if you see we are executing the procedure execute author count that's our procedure name or you can see that here as well author count and we are passing the parameter for city and state city is Auckland and state is a CA what happens it will take these two parameter and it will substitute that here we get the count count will be here and the author count and we print the result so that's what this procedure is doing right now when I execute this procedure you can see total authors equal to 5 similarly you can simply change it with the different state and city so we will use this ut and salt lake city so at runtime we can simply change the parameter and get the count of author here author count for salt lake salt lake city and the state is Uta, ut so now it shows total authors as two so in both cases if you see we pass the parameter in the order it was present in the stored procedure the first parameter the stored procedure expects is a city and the second parameter it expects is a state and if you look at here the first one is city and the second one is state so we pass in the same order first we pass the city second we pass a state and here also it shows the correct ordinal position suppose if you want to change the parameter you can use the named notation here execute author count this time if you see I am passing state first but here I am using the named notation state for the parameter state i am supplying ca here this is the parameter name right here we are making use of the parameter name so we are telling that the state is a ca and city is auckland since he specified the parameter name here we can pass it in any order we want here we doesn't specify the parameter name so we pass it in the same order 
uh, in which the procedure is expecting the parameters. But here we specify the parameter name and substitute the value. Now if I execute you can still see the same result. So that's all here in this video. Now you know how to create procedure and pass a parameter to the procedure and use the passed in parameter to achieve the desired goal. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.